welcome back uh, hello guys we are going to solve this atomic structure worksheet which we discussed in our previous lesson okay so proceeding I'm trying to explain each and every question in detail so starting with question one uh, which we already discussed but we are going to solve it again or discuss it again in the radioactive decay of an isotope of lead to an isotope of bismuth a particle you can see here this is X with one negative charge and zero mean there is no proton or neutron there is no proton because the mass or the nuclear number you know it indicates the presence of protons and neutron and as there is no proton and neutron so we can clearly mention there is no proton neutron so only thing that is changes is the charge okay because no proton is changing so straightforward he says which particle is this one so we can say it's or it definitely electron second question he says which species represented by the following formula has the largest radius remember we discuss that when ions are formed the cations always have smaller uh, ionic sorry say, um, uh, smaller radius or smaller atomic size than uh, the uh, their parent atom so cations always have smaller radius than their parent atom whereas the anions always have larger radius than their parent atom so accordingly if we consider the phosphorus the chlorine and the argon they are in the same period of the periodic table so let we can say if they are in the same period so they are going like this their atoms but if I talk about the phosphorus and then the phosphide ion so phosphide ion definitely have small greater charge sorry greatest greater atomic uh, ionic radius than its parent atom whereas the chlorine which is the next member to phosphorus then what we can say its original size is here but when chloride ion is formed the size will be bigger than its parent atom but smaller than the phosphide ion because in the group the size is decreasing okay sorry in the period from left to right the size is decreasing the argon is present over here so its size is smaller and the potassium is in the sec next uh, period in the fourth period but there should be like this so it will be because of the next period so its size will be smaller way smaller than its uh, other companion of this series so we can say this should be the right answer next question it says one of the most important chemical species responsible for the removal of ozone from the stratosphere is a free radical of chlorine remember here this is the main part this free radical mean unpaired electron this is what unpaired electron so no need to worry about right now just remember there is no change no gain of electron or no loss of or no gain of electron means 17 is the atomic number of chlorine chlorine has 17 atomic number and 35 is the nuclear number as per this information indicating there are 17 protons so protons are 17 the neutrons how to calculate 35 minus 17 so the answer is 18 whereas the electrons are always equals to proton then the number remains the same so accordingly we have to choose B as a right answer proceeding for the question 4 he says in which species are the number of protons neutrons and electrons are all different okay so the right answer is B how I can explain like here in this sodium we have 11 protons because of one plus charge one electron is lost so electrons and protons are now not equal and in this case these are 10 whereas the neutrons we know that how to find 
by subtracting the atomic number from nucleon so 23 23 let me correct it 23 minus 11 okay so we are subtracting the atomic number from atomic mass or proton from nucleon giving us 12 so you can see a proton electrons and neutron are all different from each other so B will be the right choice next question the ion Y3 negative contains 18 electron and has mass number of 31 how many proton neutrons does Y3 negative contains so this is particle 3 negative indicating the gain of 3 electron it indicates what gain of three extra electrons okay so as he clearly mentioned eight electron and has the mass number of 31 so mass number because this is period uh, sorry group five member and with the mass number 31 gain of three electron indicating there were originally 15 protons there were originally 15 protons remember protons and electrons are always equal but in atom but in atom so if three electrons are gained indicating by this three negative charge it mean originally there were 15 electrons okay means there were 15 protons so we can say the protons were 15 we can't choose c we can't choose d secondly we have to find the neutrons and we know how by subtracting the protons from the atomic number sorry by atomic mass so this will give us 16 so a will be the right choice in this case next question I'm little uh, quickly trying to finish this worksheet okay so you guys if you have any question you can ask me in the comment okay so no need to worry about you can ask me if you need further explanation you can ask me six in which pair do the atoms contains the same number of neutrons so uh, the right answer is a how the boron boron has five protons okay so if we are going to subtract the protons from the nucleon which is 11 the answer is 6 same the atomic number of carbon is 6 whereas the nucleon number is clearly shown here which is 12 so if we subtract the answer is 6 again so in these two particles the number of neutrons are same so you can find for others exactly and you can easily figure it out yes a is the right answer for question 7 which species contains the smallest number of electrons again remember the proton number of boron is five but three positive indicates three electrons are lost so how many total electrons are there two so we have to figure it out which one has the smallest number beryllium has the proton number four the two positive indicates two electrons are lost so now we have two electrons we have two electron which is same to option a we can't choose this so we can't choose two right options so mean both are in both are not correct H negative proton number of hydrogen is one mean it has one electron but with one negative this negative indicates there is a gain of one electron so this will indicate again two electrons so all these three species have the same number of electrons so definitely the answer will be d how helium the atomic number or the protons of helium is two okay with one positive mean one electron is lost so the answer or what we left with only one electron which is the smallest among all which is smallest among all so we can choose this as a right answer next question 